And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm taking a look at some little expansion packs for Catacombs, and, or Catacombs and Castles. Siege Defenders, which is for Catacombs and Castles. This adds some more heroes and Catacomb Lords and things like that. And then Resurrection 1 and 2. These are actually reprints of older expansions for the new version of Catacombs that just give you more heroes and monsters and things like that. So I'm just, because they're all fairly small, I'm putting them all together. Let's take a look. Okay, first we're going to take a look at what the stuff in Siege Defender. So Siege Defender just comes with some more stuff. Again, you can use a lot of this in Catacombs, but it's mostly for Catacombs and, and Castles and Catacombs. So we have some new uh, heroes. We have the Fairy here who can do a flying strike, which is pretty neat because she can jump off the edge of the board. We have Quinacha here who ha has a chance to get more armor, which I like. And then Pedestal. Pedestal is one of my favorite of the new castle heroes. This uh, gentleman here, that's the right one. No, that's the wrong one. He's That's the bad squirrel. Where's the good squirrel? Here he is. Uh, his first uh, attack hits a teammate in a second is an obstacle. So he grabs a teammate, they jump to the obstacle, then they shoot off the obstacle. Whether or not that's good, and it is good, but you know, probably not very good at it. It's just a fun thing to do. There is the opposite, the bad squirrel, who basically is just acts like a living net. They capture the enemy. Then we have the these two things here, which are rifts on the gelatinous cubes, and but they're heroes also in this one. So this guy, when he hits them, anything that hits him, basically he can shoot back out again, which is pretty cool. And then Zug, anyone who hits him can basically use him to travel inside him. Um, let's see, another catacomb here, here, the Cursed Cultivator. This guy has vines, basically, that he shoots out. We got a couple more warriors, the Reapers and Wolves. Uh, Feel the Fury, we got some new catacomb abilities. This one specifically gives you a permanent upgrade to somebody else. There's an, uh, an alternative to that, too. Castle basically gives you a shield. And then we got some Lords. The Stone Crusher here has two of these tokens with him. It's pretty neat. He's just essentially this giant crab and he can shoot these claws out uh, at people they can't be damaged and then they return to him. Not to be deterred though, the other cat, the Lord, the octopus here has all these little tokens, eight of these tokens that he'll be doing the same thing with. I really like both of these. They give a nice, you know, hey, this is what you have here, the catacomb, you know, if, when you fight against these, you feel like you're fighting against something huge. There's another castle lord here, the Matriarch, who just has a way to switch people around on the board and has a whole lot of different options. And then there's the Wyvern. This is a purple token here. And anybody who lands on the Wyvern has the ability to use it and go around and shoot fire off it. It's kind of like a mount type object. So now all this is the stuff that you find in Siege Defender. Okay, so now let's take a look at Catacombs Resurrection Pack. This is stuff for Catacombs, although you can use it with Catacombs and uh, Castles and Catacombs if you want to. This just has some more uh, heroes in it. I guess I'll stick them all there so you can see all the discs. So we have April, a fire mage, and that's basically what she has. She has several fireballs that she's able to throw and the ability to summon this flame antient who is a very powerful mover. So if you want basically a cool ranged attack, April is your person. Uh, this character here, the Amazon, she's just your typical run around and hit people. That's her thing. But she has a very powerful move twice and then uh, do a, a double damage hit. Uh, the forest sprite here has is kind of a healing thing. You have a chance to heal everybody. And then a few other healing things that you have. And then finally, Lara, which is my favorite character from this set. Uh, not just because of her name. Uh, but the fact that she has a dog that goes around with her, and if she hits someone, the dog can hit them also. And the dog also acts as a shield to protect her, which is a really cool thing. You'll also notice there's a bunch of monsters here. The, the set actually comes with a few other spells that total. we got giant fireballs and heals. But we have zombie rat men who are little tiny zombies that are going to be fighting around. A zombie prisoner, a tomb zombie, 
zombie fairy, which is a really gross thing, but the fact that they're moving and shooting at you makes them pretty nasty. The claw zombie, a zombie knight, which is a very powerful zombie, and then a zombie necromancer, which is also another powerful zombie, and can bring other zombies to life around them. So if you want the zombies in your game, this set's good for that, but it's also good to get some cool extra heroes at it. So we have some new heroes in this set. We have Reshthrim, an ice mage. So basically, typical ice mage can move and attack or shoot that. Also, you can give him uh, cure, two cure poison cards and a heal all. So he's more than just shooting ice. Then we have the Raven Empress here, who has a double attack. I really like this because she has to hit two different people, but being able to hit twice is still very useful. She also has the Raven Leaf Sword, which can do a critical hit and a fear hit. Um, and then she can summon the stone enchant who can move twice and then attack, which is pretty cool. And it's also a nice big object. Uh, Regulus here, he has the a vampire sword. He can move and then attack, which is useful. And the vampire sword, which lets him do a double gener regeneration attack. There's also more catacomb lords here. We have an ice dragon, of course. That's a really nasty, you know, can shoot like everyone in your party if possible. Uh, and comes, you know, with the ice stuff. We have Soloth, a vampire lord, who has all sorts of weird different attacks that he can do. He comes, of course, with zombies and bad guys. We have the, uh, Ugarth, the B, B, I forgot, uh, th this giant dude who can put you in his stomach and attack you. Um, Vale, who's going to be moving around quickly and attacking. So just kind of variants on different catacomb lords. The game also comes with a whole very specific scenario that you can play. It shows you how to do it, and you're going to need very specific people from both Resurrection Pack 1 and 2, and the Catacomb Base game, and the Cavern Expansion. I guess you could substitute some of the stuff, and then how to play through it. So you can play through this challenge. This uh, specific pack comes with some rooms for that, and also comes with uh, so, you know some of the stuff that you might see in there. And you can see the Vampire Guards, which are actually pretty, pretty funny looking. If come to think of it. All right, well, anyway, that is what is in Resurrection Pack 2. If you have catacombs, you should get Resurrection Pack 1. This is the most, like, get this, one of all the sets. Siege Defender's cool, adds some really cool stuff. That's neat. Resurrection 2 is neat, but I would say must get, yeah, not bad, and sure. <laughs> so none of them are bad. I think they're all quite good. I don't think any of them are necessary, except, I mean, Resurrection is cool, if only because it adds more heroes to the base game. And more heroes is a lot of fun. And it also, it adds uh, the, uh, one of these, which one added the zombies? Was it the, this one? This one added the zombies. This one's really cool, too. The octopus and crab are, like, two really fun catacomb lords. And playing with the the griffin is, or the, the, the wyvern is neat, because... Both sides can use it, and they're getting on it, shooting fireballs, and the next person gets on it. And the squirrels, I mean, this game has this unhealthy fascination with squirrels, but the fact that the squirrels exist and, and, and their abilities are really cool. So this just this more fun. Uh, not stuff that you have to have, but I like them a lot. So check them out. Siege Defender, Resurrections Pack 1 and 2. Dice Tower Judgment approved. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Boop. Boop.